Today wasn't a normal day at school. Today was the start of the magical world of science camp. The school bell didn't matter, and we all know how much fun that is. The first few modules of the camp were dedicated to learning about the science behind what keeps the boats afloat and the planes in the air. The final challenges of the two days were to use the knowledge of the principles taught and to put the theories into practice by building rafts that needed to float with a person on top and by building parachutes that needed to rescue some ping pong balls trying to escape the third floor in one piece. The only questions remained. Will it float? Will it fly? We're just about to find out. Year one to five students were guided through science camp in the capable hands of the Ecotair community project with a few extra helping hands from the Fuse Ecotair crew. To help the teaching team get the principles of the lab into the classroom, training was provided by EduSpec so the ideas could effectively get through to all five different age groups. This never would have happened without the help of Kaganik Corporation who made another camp possible again. Once all the equipment was prepared, the first day could get started. We started by making sure the kids understood the principle of buoyancy by experimenting with everyday objects and explaining why they sink or float. The peel of oranges trap air, making them float. But once the peel is removed, it will sink. This makes oranges a very useful object for explaining buoyancy. Day two was all about air, and more specifically, high and low air pressure. As you can't see or touch air, the team had to get a little more inventive this time. With some help from paper and some water from the day before, we could effectively show them how differences in pressure can make the seemingly impossible happen. The modules ended with construction, where the students teamed up to build floating and flying machines, so it's finally time to put the newly acquired knowledge to the test, just in the backyard of the school. It looked promising, but would it float? Will it fly? The camp was a great success and we reached all of our goals. To reward the students, they received certificates to remind them of all they had learnt and achieved. <laughs>